You are welcome once again to this class. We have social studies, governance, politics, and stability. It's our section and our unit is colonization and national development. What are we learning today? Today, we are learning to explain the term transatlantic slave trade locate the roots of the transatlantic slave trade state at least four reasons why the transatlantic slave trade lasted so long and again shall look at four negative effects of the transatlantic slave trade then lastly shall look at the factors leading to the decline of the transatlantic slave trade great so the transatlantic slave trade the transatlantic slave trade was the buying and selling of human beings from west africa they transported them across the atlantic ocean to the americas the americas include west indian the Caribbean, the Caribbean and the surrounding islands and North and South America. This trade began in the 16th century until in the 1860s it came to an end. Historians believe that more than 200 million Africans were sent off from the coast of Africa but about 12 million of them were about to reach were able to reach their destinations african slaves were captured by raiders and chiefs so these were the people so it wasn't the Europeans who came down to Africa to capture the Africans, but rather it was our it were our uh, it was our own people who were doing this activity. So when they get you, then they will sell you to the white men. And what? Why were they doing that? They were doing that in exchange of goods such as gun and gunpowder so you capture human being to collect gun and gun gunpowder okay so let's look at the trade routes so looking at this this is africa these are the americas that the north and the south america and then we have europe where they were coming from so when Africans are captured in Africa, they were moved as slaves to the Americas. And what do they do there? They go and then they cultivate sugar cane, tobacco, cotton, and the rest. When they finish harvesting it, then they send them to Europe. When it is sent to Europe, then it will be turned into finished product and it will be sold to the African chief. So moving from Africa to the Americas and then moving from the Americas to Europe and back the goods back to Africa develop the termed transatlantic slave trade. Hope you are okay. So let's look at how they were treated when they were captured. So looking at it, this are the this were our forefathers. This were how they were treated. This were how they were treated. It was inhuman. And then at the castle, see how they were laid packed. It was really serious. It wasn't. A good thing at all. 
one should know that there was slave trade in Africa before the arrival of the Europeans, but the slavery was not as inhuman as the Europeans did. Before the European slavery, African, African slavery had a sort of liberation. The captures were free to intermarry, move to wherever they like, but they were only to help their slave masters to fight in wars. Also, they were obliged to pay some amount of money to their slave masters every year. So these were the things that African slaves were doing before the European brought this, which was very inhuman. Now, what were some of the reasons why this trade lasted so long? So the first one was that the slave trade was a great profit-making activity for all those who participated in it. The second point, ship owners discovered that as demand for slave labor increased in the West Indies, America and the Caribbean, it was more profitable to transport slaves to those areas. Then the greed of some African chiefs and Africans who were getting financial benefit from the trade also helped to sustain the trade. So I explained it to you earlier on. And then the slave offered valuable economic labor on plantations and in the mines of the New World. And when we talk of the New World, we are talking of the Americas, that's the North and then the South America. Okay. And then again, the large scale importation of firearms to West Africa helped sustain the trade. So they were bringing more arms for our people to fight among themselves, to capture their fellow Africans and sell them to the whites. So the whole trade was not in a good form at all. It was inhuman. You just capture your friend and sell him for gun and gunpowder or other materials, mirror and the rest. Great. Then we shall look at the negative effect of the transatlantic slave trade. So it led to loss of human resource. So we lost, we, we, we lose a lot of uh, human resource. And then again, our population declined. The population declined. Then it brought about racial discrimination and it is happening now. You can you can see those of you who like football, you can you can observe it. When the blacks are among the whites, they behave differently. Then it's dispersed Africans. So Africans were all over. Africans were all over the world. And then it led to loss of confidence of Africans. And it is happening now. It has affected a lot. But I urge you all to put it aside so that we move on as a country. And then it led to the to 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 loss of self image and self respect. Africans were not respected by then. We should stand up and fight for our self image and self respect. We should just throw all this thing away. It has passed, and it will never. We cannot do anything about it. So the only thing is we should stand firm to recorrect our past. Great. So after long, about 400 years of this trade, finally, it was abolished. But it couldn't come 
as a whole. The English or the British abolished it first and other European countries, but it took a while before the Americans also abolished this slave trade. So let's look at some of the reasons why it was abolished. One, for religious reasons. For religious reasons, most religious activists stood against it and it came to an end. And then it was humanitarian. It was an eyesore. Human beings were not supposed to be treated like that. So a lot of activists stood up against it. And then for economic reason, and then we have rebellion. Some of the slave trade started poisoning their slave masters. They were killing them and the rest. So people saw it, so saw the need not to continue it anymore. And then again, exploration, exploration, great. So these were some of the reasons why it was abolished. So let's continue. So let's look at our reflection. What have we learned today? Today we've looked at the transatlantic slave trade. I said it was the buying of the buying and selling of human beings from West Africa. And it was across the ocean to the Americas. And we saw some of the reasons why it lasted so long. So the slave was a prophet. Ship owners also saw that it was a prophet. And the greed of some African chiefs and Africans who involved themselves in it. And then the slave offered, slaves offered a very valuable economic labor. It was very cheap. You work and they were not paid. Even food, they had small to eat. And then the last skill of importation of fire, uh, firearms. So you, you, they brought a lot of firearms to Africans, and Africans also give them a lot of human beings. And then we looked at some of the negative effects: so, loss of human resource, loss of population. It brought racial discrimination, despair of Africans, loss of confidence of Africans, loss of self-image, and self-respect then we look at some of the reasons why it came to an end we said religious reasons humanitarian it is humanitarian that the slave was was condemned on moral and humanitarian grounds it was seen as unkind and cruel then again economic reason slave slave labor was no longer needed especially in the west indians india island markets were rather needed to sell manufactured goods and not slave to produce the raw material so they stopped it then the rebellion frequent slaves revolts on their plantation also called for their abolishment and then we look at the exploration said later on they discovered the interior part of africa where they had a lot of interest in it so they st stopped it great so in our next meeting we shall look at independence and nationhood thank you very much for your attention and we shall meet another time.